Good evening. In less than three days, life will almost resemble what it was pre-pandemic. Masks will no longer be compulsory in most places, capacity limits will be lifted and vaccine requirements will almost disappear. Businesses are celebrating the changes, but doctors warn it could be too soon. Alice Murray reports. It's life as we knew it, almost. It's time to start to go back to living with COVID. From 12.01am on Friday, indoor mask mandates are gone. Capacity limits scrapped two sporting events and schools back to normal. G2G passes ditched along with vaccine requirements for travellers and at venues, jab checks are no more. This is the best news that WA's hospitality industry's had in the last two years. The unvaxxed can go to the pub but not work in one because the employment vaccine mandate remains. You'll still need a mask on public transport and in taxis and if you visit a hospital, aged care or disability facility, your vaccine status will be checked. Quarantine for asymptomatic close contacts is gone too but they'll have to mask up, test daily and avoid high-risk places. We would be really happy to just get rid of the mask. I'm pretty sure that customers feel really better to come to city. It's really good yeah, actually. It's yeah, then we I don't like have to that. wear them at school and everything. That yeah. feels nice actually. Then yeah. we don't have to breathe through these. WA has achieved its soft COVID landing according to the government but it admits it has no modelling for what happens next. Cases, hospitalisations and even deaths may be about to ramp up. What the government is doing is gambling that it won't be too many. I will continue to wear a mask when I'm indoors um, because it is a way for me to reduce my chances of catching COVID. Some doctors say winding back this Friday could be too soon. A second COVID wave could be a real possibility in just weeks. I know there may be some anxiety about it with some members of the community. Just use common sense. If you're unwell, please stay home. If you test positive, of course, stay home and monitor your health. If you feel like you need to wear a mask when you're out, wear a mask. Our new freedom, a risk, balanced against benefit to the economy. The tourism industry is celebrating along with entertainers. With capacity limits thrown out, thousands of extra tickets are now on sale for gigs like Birds of Tokyo and Jimmy Barnes, both playing to Perth crowds this weekend. The government talks about it being a soft landing and now we talk about it being a hard takeoff. The unvaxxed and vaxxed alike are free to celebrate together. But if history repeats and COVID continues to surprise, restrictions may return. Alice Murray, 7 News.